Hello, everybody. It's Nancy Mazo at NotablyNancy at gmail.com. And today, I'm beginning my mini-series on the hiring process step-by-step. So the first tip that I want to give you, tip number one, is go for it. Go, go, go. I'm sure that you've watched my videos and other videos about VIP Kid and all the pros and wonderful things about working at VIP Kid. And now it's time to get started. Okay, so step one in getting started in the hiring process is the application. That's what you have to do first. And I'd like a commitment from you. I'd like you to watch this video and really, I bet that you've already decided that you wanna apply, but you haven't really done it yet or you're not ready or it's not a good time. Really just go for it. After you watch this video, promise yourself a candy bar or a walk in the park or whatever you enjoy doing. Give yourself a little reward at the end, but fill in your application because that's the first step. And so congratulations, you've decided to embark on your ESL online journey. And I'm really proud that you've gotten to this point. Good for you. I know that you've made a great decision for yourself and I'd love to help you step by step along this journey that you'll be taking. Okay, before we begin, I'd like to let you know, because I'm for honest reporting, that this process, the application process, probably these days takes between three to four weeks. Okay, from the application to signing your contract. After that, there are all kinds of great suggestions I have and other teachers have for how to get your bookings started and how to be busy. But if you're looking for, you will start full-time teaching online ESL tomorrow. That's not the case. There is a process that you need to go through and I, I wanna really be honest about that. So you have, a uh, clear realistic idea of what to expect in that so for vip kid there are three requirements that you need to have and you will need to fill out on your application which is the first the first step number one is you need a bachelor's degree the bachelor's degree does not have to be in education um, but you do need at least a bachelor's degree Number two is you have to have the legal eligibility to work in the United States or Canada. Now, you do not need to be living in the United States or Canada to do this job. I live overseas and I have been living overseas and teaching for VIP Kid for the past almost three years. And there are a group of teachers who do teach from all over the world and if you are overseas but you are eligible to work in the United States or Canada this can be a really great option for you. The third requirement is you need two years or more of teaching experience. Now this experience can be informal. It does not have to be teaching in a classroom environment. You might have a youth group. You might have a sports team that you mentor. Think about your experience and on the application. I, I think currently there's a place you can say um, from zero to two years experience and then the next sentence that you can check is two years or more. Okay, you want to really think about your experience and be able to check the two plus years of experience because now that is one of the qualifications that that they require. So I would recommend that you use a referral teacher for this process. And what that means is that whichever referral teacher that you choose, you will link to the application through their link I have my link below and I'd love for you to use Co it. I'd, I'd love, love to help coach you through the process. And 
This is important because you will be able, I think, to be more comfortable through the process in terms of having resources and a contact person about to help you through the process and coach you through it and, and help you to do a successful and as stress-free as it can be, okay? The way that it works is whoever your referral teacher is, the company VIP Kid pays us a stipend to be able to help you, okay? So I'm saying it again, go, go, go. Push yourself past your comfort zone to fill out the application yet. And I really want you to go ahead, take action, do that first step so that you can get started through the process. Please subscribe to my channel, but I really encourage you to just go ahead and jump in and get started. I'll be with you every step of the way, and I wish you much luck in your journey. Next week, we'll be talking about the demonstration called the demo, and I will go into detail about that step by step. If you have applied and you need more information about the demo or coaching through it, please let me know at notablynancy at gmail.com with your specific questions, and I'll be happy to help you with it. Okay. Have a great week. You've got this. You can do it. Goodbye. Happy teaching. See you again next week.